Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss the second problem which came in BMAT BSTAT 2022. So the problem says that consider the function f of x uh, equals summation k going from 1 to m x minus k whole to the power 4 where x is in the, uh, coming from the reals where m is greater than 1 is an integer and show that f has a unique minimum and find the point where the minimum is attained okay so first of all we will show the uh, unique uh, minimum uh, point exists and then we will find the where the minimum is being taken okay so first of all if you note that uh, f of x is equal to summation k going from 1 to m x minus 4 whole to the power or sorry x minus k whole to the power 4 okay now if you double differentiate this so what will you get so it's very easy because it's a uh, just some in some form so you just have to differentiate one of them so which is 12 and then summation k going from 1 to m and here you will be getting x minus k whole square right now you see that this is a whole square form okay and so this is strictly greater than 0 fine and so which implies that your function f is strictly convex fine now also let's uh, look at f dash x so f dash x is equal to summation so uh, the 4 will come outside and k going from 1 to m x minus k whole cube okay and now since f double dash x is strictly greater than 0 so we can say that f dash x is strictly increasing so now this tells us that like for the point of minima we should have uh, that f dash if suppose if it uh, exists at the point c then f dash c will be 0 and the thing is that we just got that f dash x is strictly increasing and from there we can say that if uh, I can show that f dash x takes uh, some negative value somewhere and so, uh, somewhere it takes some positive value then it has to cut the x axis because it's continuous okay and since it's strictly increasing so it can only uh, cut the x axis once and so only once f dash uh, x can be 0 ok and so uh, let's see that for uh, like if we take f dash x plus f dash m plus 1 minus x then notice that this is equal to 4 times summation k going from 1 to m the first one is x minus k whole cube but the second one uh, we have to put so let's put the 4 4 summation k going from 1 to m m plus 1 minus x minus k whole cube now notice that this is equal to 4 times summation k going from 1 to m x minus k whole cube there is no change in the first one but for the second one try to note that this is coming out to be k equals 1 to m now just put k equals 1 you see that uh, this it becomes m minus x okay 
which is nothing but if you in the first part if you put here uh, k equals m okay so that's what you are getting there right so if you put k equals m you get here k uh, m minus k whole cube and if you put k equals 1 here then you are getting uh, m minus uh, x so there is a difference here you are getting uh, x minus m whole cube and there you are getting m minus x whole cube now put k equals 2 and you will see that uh, it, it becomes so m minus 1 minus x so you get that here when you put k equals m minus 1 you get x minus in bracket m minus 1 ok and so on and so forth and so you see that this is nothing but becoming k minus x whole cube ok and so this sum is finally boiling down to 0 because you take the 4 out and uh, these two sums x minus k whole cube and k minus x whole cube they will just cancel each other and so the sum is 0 ok so now we get one thing that is suppose if x is lesser than m plus 1 by 2 then you see that just multiply with 2 and take one of the x on the other side you see that m plus 1 minus x is greater than x and now what we know is that uh, f dash x is increasing and so I can say that f dash x is lesser than 0 and f dash m plus 1 minus x is greater than 0 because ok so since f dash x is uh, uh, I mean uh, greater than 0 uh, sorry f dash x is increasing so I can say that the value at this point will be greater than the value at that point but note that the sum of these two values is uh, 0 ok and so I mean if they are not equal then one of them has to be greater than 0 and the other one has to be lesser than 0 and so since this, the value at uh, the f dash at uh, m plus 1 minus x is higher so it has to be greater than 0 and f dash x has to be lesser than 0 and so since uh, there is some point uh, where f dash x is uh, taking like if x is lesser than m plus 1 by 2 then f dash x is taking lesser than uh, value le strictly lesser than 0 and at m plus 1 minus x f dash uh, x is taking uh, the value strictly greater than 0 and so there is a point where uh, this f dash so there is this a point c where f dash c is 0 ok so now let uh, so the uniqueness is done because uh, we have shown that uh, the existence and the uniqueness because it's strictly increasing ok f dash is strictly increasing now let's find out uh, what is the point ok for that note that the sum of these two is 0 so since uh, there exists some point c where f dash c is 0 so if I just plug in x equals to c in this equation I see that f dash c will be equal to 0 but the sum is also equals to 0 which implies that f dash m plus 1 minus x is also equals to 0 but there is only unique point c and so which implies that m plus 1 minus x also has to be that point c and so it implies that both of these x values have to be the same that is x have to be equals to m plus 1 minus x and thus we get 2x is equals to m plus 1 and thus we get x is equals to m plus 1 by 2 ok where the minimum mm, value of uh, the function here uh, as we were required to find out where uh, find the point where the minimum is attained so this is the point where the minimum is being attained ok and 
so uh, here we have till here we have shown the existence and uniqueness okay and so this problem is done and i hope uh, you uh, have liked it and uh, thanks for watching see you in the next one